the booth with Tim Swartz and Brian Benefitemi. I'm Blake Suniga, and we're glad to have you along for the ride. And with a moment here before we get to the tip-off, here are tonight's starting lineups. Well, this game could turn out to be a fast-paced and frantic battle, considering how both of these teams like to get out and attack in transition. We'll see high-pressure defense and quick offense. Teams not really spending too much time getting... into their sets. It's a great way uh, to get ahead of the slower paced team, but with both teams running at top speed, this could get interesting. Well, the real test is gonna be the stamina of these two squads. I think they're really bound to get worn out if they spend all game trying to outrun each other. Now here is Thornton. This one for three, and that's good. Enrique Agumbawale for three. Well, whether Enrique is off the dribble, screen, catch and shoot, spotting up, whatever. He hits threes pretty much every way possible. Dolson with it. McCowan defending. Dolson up top. Clock at six. Here's Dangerfield outside. Dallas with the rebound. About one minute played here so far in the first. Pass to Burton. Let's it fly from 18. No good on that shot. And it's the Liberty taking it the other way. Ionescu right side. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. And we'll shoot two at the line. Sabrina Ionescu might be the most hyped player we've ever seen coming into the league. I mean, you, you, you think about draft night 2020. Her jersey sold out within minutes of the Liberty taking her. And she makes the first. So much pressure on Ionescu from the jump. And that's what happens when you start your career in New York City. Well, everything is magnified in the Big Apple, but Sabrina's navigated it very well. From her humble beginnings in Walnut Creek, California, all the way to New York, Ionescu's risen to the occasion. So she gets them both. Well, really from a couple years before Sabrina Ionescu came to the league, we knew she would be the top pick of the draft, but she has had a challenging start to her pro career. Pass to McCowan. Ray. Screen by McCowan. A kick out to Agumbawale. Misses the three. It's rare to see her come up empty on such a wide open look. Now here's Dangerfield. It's good from long range. And unfortunately for UNESCO, her rookie season was difficult. Well, you start with the you know 2020 draft. It's a virtual one. You don't get to go in person. Sabrina uh, had to start her career without fans back in the wobble. And then game three in Bradenton, a bad ankle injury ends her season. So just a nightmare start to her career. Despite all of that, UNESCO has become a star. Three's going down quickly at both ends. What an answer. You come at me with the three, I'm coming right back. Everybody gets a three. Now here's Dangerfield. A baseline J. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Dallas leading. Gray outside. Here's McCowan. And it's Ionescu with the rebound. And so it's New York with it. Pass to Dolson. Allen. Now Howard. Can't hit it from 12 feet. A real defensive lapse there. She's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. They're lucky she didn't punish him there. It's Burton. McCowan inside. Chase covered by Allen. Shock up two right there. Very nice vision to find the open teammate. Thornton a pretty good passer for a big. 
And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in this first quarter. Ionescu outside. Using the post moves to get the two points. Let's give an assist there, uh, not for a pass, but for the solid screen set on the inside that freed her up and really just made that layup possible. It's Burton. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Six on the shot clock, down low. McCowan with the bucket. Nice play by the ball handler and McCowan finding an opening using the pick and roll. Ionescu outside. Shoots over Agumbawale. Dallas with the rebound. And here's Burton. On the wing, Alicia Gray. Outside Agumbawale. Back to Gray. Fires from deep. And again, it's the wings from deep. Way more likely to take it herself in the pick and roll. Gray looking to score the ball. Now danger field. Pass to Allen. Howard. Over Thornton. Drill from six feet. The closer to the hoop, the better Howard is. Tremendous touch plus athletic ability. Now here's a Wale. She has six. Here's Gray. There's a screen by McCowan. Pass to Burton. From past the arc, the three-pointer is on target. Just like the coaches drew it up, easy hoop. Gray with the perfect feet. Here's Yanescu. And the layup's good off the glass. I'll bet her percentage is pretty high from that range. Here's Burton. Pass to Gumbawale. And here's McCowan. Screen by McCowan. Five to shoot. Pulls up. No good off the back of the rim. She kind of short armed that shot after doing a nice job of getting open. Pass to Ionescu. Now Howard, covered by Thornton. Howard gets the bucket. Well, you like to give maybe a degree of difficulty bonus there for Howard. Great concentration to put it through the hoop. There is zero doubt. Sabrina Ionescu is the cornerstone of this New York Liberty organization. Since the Liberty won the lottery, let alone had the draft, she was the focal point in New York. Count that one. That's what I call pretty passing. Timely recognition as to where the open teammate was. The Liberty Trail. Yanescu has it. Six points for her. Pass to Allen. Shoots the three. And again, it's New York with a three. And in the Big Apple, Sabrina has embraced a leadership role. Yeah, Yanescu is wise well beyond her years. The Walnut Creek native has been a leader since day one, running the point and really just welcoming the expectations that go with being the first overall pick. Now here's a Wale. Six points for her. Now Yanescu. Field outside. Back to Ionescu. Pass to Allen. Let's it go from deep. Good. And Sabrina Ionescu gets the dime. Proving what a selfless player she is, Ionescu is all about getting the rock to wide open teammates. 
the wings trail. It's Burton. Gray, she's covered by Allen. Enrique Agumawale on the wing. They waste no time getting those three points back. How about that for a response? We'll give you a three, and then we'll take it right back. It's turning into a three-point contest. Now, here is Ionescu. And she makes good on the layup. That's not fair. And Ionescu has so much skill off the bounce and the ability to put the ball in the bucket. And that was the mobile one drive, low resistance to the finish line. Really made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. It's Burton. Screen by McCowan. Here's Gray. The putback. It's good on the putback. What an absolute force McCowan is down low. The board, the points, what a talent. Ionescu outside. Pass to Howard. Now here's Allen. Howard. And they double up Sabrina Ionescu. Howard gets the bucket. With the size advantage as big as it was right there, that's exactly what she should do in that situation. Take it strong to the middle. And here's Burton. And here's Agunbawale. Gray outside. It doesn't go for her. So New York will take it the other way. Inside, Howard. And a great assist that time by Sabrina Ionescu as that one goes in. This game is off to a flying start. Yeah, we're seeing some high octane offense from both sides. This is much watched basketball. Let's hope they keep it up. Now here's a Gubawale. She's got nine. Launches a three, and again, it's Dallas with a three. Can they make some sort of defensive adjustment? Because guess what? She is killing them from three-point range. And even when they have closed out on her, she's still knocking them down. I mean, this is just an unbelievable performance we're seeing right now. And the Liberty call time here. Outside Whitcomb. Pass to Laney from the arc. Rebounded by Collier. She may have been surprised to find herself so open. I mean, maybe that's why she missed. Outside Agumawale. Just five on the clock. For three. Rebound, New York. Yeah, she didn't punish them for the weak coverage that time, but they just can't count on her missing. Absolutely, Brian. She's got to go right back to that shot. Now here's Laney. Back to Whitcomb. Teardrop shot, and she sinks the layup. The quality trip down the floor. Onion Wade providing the assist to a very open teammate. Now here's Agubawale. Pass to Harris. Here's Dickey. Now here's Harris. The three ball bangs home the trifecta. This has been a thriller. You can't say enough about the way these teams have battled each other. All signs point to this thing going all the way down to the wire. I'd be shocked if it ended any other way, Tim. I'd certainly take that, Brian. Blaney, right side. Makes it off the glass. That's straight up heart. Blaney, one of those two points. So it's a tie game as we end the first. And don't go away as we'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a bit.
close game here at the start of the second quarter of play. And taking a look at the Liberty performance here. Guys, what are your thoughts? Lots of their points have come from shots inside the key. And that's where they should continue to attack moving forward. I mean, why change the plan until they make you? Absolutely. Azumba Wale with it. Pass to Dickey. And here's Collier. Now Harris. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Dickey. Good, and the assist goes to Agumba Wallace. She is one of the best when it comes to making the sweet leap pass. Willoughby with it. Pass to Laney. Here's Han. Over Collier, and it's New York with another. Well, she was wide open, and Laney found her. And around a minute gone here in the second quarter. Han Shu made her WNBA debut in 2019, but we didn't see her again until 2022. Well, Han's proved to be well worth the wait. What a fun player to watch. Now here's Kuya, looking for her first basket still in this one. Wow, that was impressive. Kuya keeping focus. Spike taking the bump. A minute and a half gone in the second quarter. Back to Laney. An easy two points on the layup. And at six foot ten, Han Shu is an excellent three-point shooter. Talk about a stretch five. Yeah, seriously. I mean, one of the tallest players in league history. Shu isn't really a volume shooter, but she does know how to make her attempts count. And then on the other end, her length causes major issues in the paint. Now here's Collier. Goes back up. And Kawia finishes oh, wow. inside. Hitting the boards hard, using her length. Kawia putting in some second chance points. Laney outside. Back to Whitcomb. Right wing, beyond the arc. On, no good. Dallas in the lead. Here's Dickey. Outside, Agumba Wale. Pass to Harris. And there's the foul called on Whitcomb. That is her first foul of the game. First team foul. Substitution on the court. Thornton. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Five on the clock. Alicia Gray, and that's good. Oh, we've seen Gray make huge strides shooting wide, becoming more than solid from beyond the arc. Pass to Ionescu. Here's Dolson. Good, and Sabrina Ionescu gets the dime. Well, you're not going to pass up that type of look. And here's Harris. Outside of Wale. To the paint. High post, Kuya. Working on Dolson. Shot clock at five. From downtown. And again, it's the wings from deep. A volume scorer through and through. Agumba Wale can generate her own momentum pretty quickly. to Howard from 11 feet away and it's New York with another perfect screen there set her up with a terrific look yeah but that's a bad job by the defender to not fight through that screen to contest you want to see more effort there now here's a Google wallet 15 points in the game great and again it's Dallas with a three Constantly in a position to score. Gray loves to shoot it off of a crisp pass. Ionescu outside. And count the basket. It was 
fouled, and she's First going to the line for one ball. more. First team foul. Well, small ball is all the rage, but can you win playing a bigger style, Tim? Absolutely. I mean, we saw Las Vegas go super big, and they had the best record in the league back-to-back -back years. Both of those teams, they finished last in three-point shots attempted. While I do agree with you, Tim, keep in mind those Aces teams had an MVP in Asia Wilson. So, sure, you can win by playing big. However, you always need talent. You got to admire how Sabrina Ionescu can do it all. She can score, distribute, grab rebounds. Whatever you need, she can do it. And that kind of versatility is just invaluable. Now here's Harris. Pass to Kouia. And there are the wings with another bucket. Just really good awareness right there on the assist. And the Liberty with possession here. They trail by six. Now here's Dangerfield. Up top, Allen. Good, and the assist goes to Crystal Dangerfield. The type of player who'd rather get an assist than a hoe. Dangerfield with a sweet feet. Harris with it. Pass to Thornton. Here's Kouia. Burton. Gray outside. The three. And again, it's Dallas with a three. Yet another smooth stroke. That's just perfect form she's showing at the three-point line. Pass to Ionescu. Now here's Dolson. Covered by Kouia. The fadeaway, and it's New York with another. Well, from this far out, it's easy money for Dolson, a fantastic shooter for a five. She can even extend it out to three-point range. Now here's Gray. Twelve points for her. Blanketed by the D, she fights to the rim for the layup. Nice work inside. Hard to get that one to go over the bigger defender. Well, it was never going to be easy. A little artistry on the inside. Call it maybe a Rembrandt. The Liberty Trail. Now danger. Dolson covered by Kouia. Dolson, shot's good. Scoring inside, it's about a lot of things. To me, touch is most important. And Dolson knows how to get the ball in the hoop. It's Burton. Gray outside. Pass to Burton. Screen by Kouia. Burton can't hit. And here's Ionescu. 11 points in the game. Softly drops in the floater. Little teardrop from Ionescu. You need this shot to excel in the WNBA as a point like Sabrina is. The 2010s, a very eventful decade for this Dallas franchise. And at the start of the 2010s, they had just moved from Detroit to Tulsa. Then they moved again from Tulsa to Dallas in 2016. And for this Wings organization, unfortunately, they struggled in the 2010s. Yeah, just one season with a winning record, but now that they've settled in the Big D, they are much more comfortable in Texas. So I expect the 2020s to be much more fruitful for the Wings. Down the first one. The wings making a switch here. And good on the second, so she makes both. An original franchise back in 1997. The New York Liberty had a lot of success early on, making it to the first WNBA Finals. And there's the whistle. That goes on Dolce. 
That's foul number two for her. Second team foul. Dallas leading. Now Burton. He's got five. Pass to McCowan. Ray. Back to McCowan. Shoots from 12. Not going to go that time. And New York will come the other way. And looking at those early Liberty teams, they won a lot of games. Yeah, well, the good news, New York owned the East, winning it in four of the first six seasons. But then you got the bad news. They could just not get over the hump, going 0 for 4 in the WNBA Finals. It's good. This is the kind of vision you get with Ionescu. She has a knack for finding the open teammate. Dallas with the ball. Three-point lead. Now here's Harris. It's Burton. On the wing, Alicia Gray. Six to shoot. Screen by McCowan. And another miss by Dallas. And so it's New York with it. Pass to Dangerfield. Ionescu outside. Dolson, McCowan defending. Dolson with it. He has six. The score now all even. Well, you simply cannot let Ionescu get comfortable shooting it, especially from that short corner. And here's Burton. He's got five. Pass to McCowan. Now here's Gray. Just five to shoot. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And here's Dangerfield. Pass to Allen. Here's Howard. McCowan defending. Dangerfield and the go-ahead bucket, no good. Now Thornton, he hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Here's Gray, and here's Thornton, guarded by Dangerfield. Tried to bank it in, but misses. And the Liberty with possession here. Pass to Allen. Now Dolson. And it's good for two. That assist, that little nod from her teammate after the bucket. Dallas with the ball, trailing by two. It's Burton. McCowan guarded by Dolson. Burton gets the bucket. Fantastic dish from McCowan. Easy hoop for the team. Love it when a center can move the ball. New York calls timeout. On offense, here the Liberty. Laney outside. On a screen. To the wing on the left. And a great assist by Laney as that one goes in. You know, she caught a glimpse of the open player on the perimeter and sent the pass right over. Tough offensive sets, and they really want to turn it around. They got to lock in. They need a basket just to gain some momentum. That's another one for her. Her fifth in just seven shots. Perhaps the D was focusing too much on Pokemon Wale. Maybe that's why she found a, a wide open teammate. Oh. And count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the line. The height difference there was huge, but she canceled it out with great body control in the air. That body control right there is essential. If you're giving up a bunch of height on flat ground, then you better be good in the air. And be able to adjust in the air, too.
Over her first four years in the league, Benajah Laney averaged just three points per game. But then in 2020, she blew up during year five, scoring 17 points per game. Now here's Gray. He's got 14. Harrison sets a screen. Drive by Alicia Gray. Harrison. It's bad. good, and she makes her first shot of the game. Alicia Great footwork Gray. by Harrison. So active. A very nice pick and roll partner who will cut hard. Now here's Whitcomb. Defense is right there. A shot from the low post is good. Now here's Agupa Wale. Three pointer. And no good trying to get that one. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going on here. Liberty out in front, up by four. And we'll be back right after halftime to get the third quarter underway. second half neither side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters and you know no surprise but Yanescu has been exceptional here guys she went absolutely off those first two quarters guys and she's capable of doing that each night she hits the floor we might see some changes here in the defensive approach they use as we hit the second half well they've got to make some sort of change right I mean they can't let her continue to torch them like she has been the start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first two quarters. And here's Burton. A kick out to Gumbawale. Shot clock at six. Over Ionescu. Here's McCowan. And the layup falls. I mean, come on. You think a little tap is going to stop McCowan? No way. She's just too tough. Dangerfield outside. On the wing, Rebecca Allen. Back to Dangerfield. There's the three. And again, it's New York with a three. I want to make it as a, a WNBA player at the guard position. You need a deep shot like Dangerfield. Outside of Gumbawale. Pass to McCowan. Burton. Off target from three point range. Yanescu outside. Power, that's good. She's been key for them, the way she's distributed the ball. No doubt. Uh, look, when the offense runs through her, it's smooth operation. Dallas trailing here. Just a little over 90 seconds gone in the third quarter. Count the basket and the foul. That one on Dangerfield. Well, it wasn't a textbook pick, but she still managed to score. And I'm a fan of that concentration on the finish. Amongst the current young players in the league, who do you guys think has the biggest upside? I'm going to go with 2022 first overall pick, Ryan Howard. We've already seen her talent a little bit, but I think she's just scratching the surface of what she can do in the WNBA. And I'll go with the 2020 second overall pick, Satu Sabali. Her combination of size and 6'4 and skill, it is tantalizing. Well, when Dallas traded away Skyler Diggins-Smith, one thing became very clear. This was a Rike Ogubawale's team, and boy, has she ever stepped up as the face of the franchise. If she can get to the rim, she'll usually turn it into points, but the defense stood tall there. Now Burton. She's got 10. 
Norton with it. Agun Bawale, covered by Ionescu. Shot clock at two. Agun Bawale, no good. Agun Bawale, a steal in the 2019 draft, going fifth overall. Yeah, rookie of the year in that 2019 campaign, a first team all WNBA selection during her second year in 2020. Enrique winning a scoring title in that rubble season, solidifying herself as the leader of the Dallas Wings. And uh, we're well into the third quarter, just over two and a half minutes played. Pass to Burton. McCowan. Let's it go from 11. Gray, that's good. Tonight's game from Gray, it is coming as no surprise to us. I mean, Alicia is a bucket that can go off anytime she steps on the court. Now, here is Ionescu. She's got 16. And here's Dolson. Here's Allen. Hits it from three point range. So much improvement in terms of passing the ball for Dalton. She came into the league at about an assist per game, and she has tripled that rate. Here's Thornton. Quiet so far offensively, searching for her first points of the game. Here's Gray. That's in, and she's 7 of 12 now for the game. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Pass to Howard. Allen. Back to Howard. McCowan with the rebound. And she doesn't miss many of those, uh, especially with the defender not in the best of positions. Gray, that's good. With the wide array of offensive moves, Gray will pretty much make you pick your poison when you're guarding her. New York leading. Here's Ionescu. Shoots over Agumawale. And stolen by Alicia Gray. Pass to Burton. For the lead. She can't get that one to fall. Good work defensively by Natasha Howard. Here's Dolson. Good for the fifth time. Five shots. She remains perfect. Superb assist. She was crafty, creative, and the ultimate teammate on that play. It's Burton, guarded by Dangerfield. Enrique Agumawale on the wing. Picked by Thornton. There's a Google Wale with the three. Knocks down the three ball. And that ties it up. Jump shot looking on the money. Arike realizes when she needs to New take York those. New York calls timeout. Pass to Ionescu. That's tipped. It's stolen by McCowan. Harris with it. Guarded by Dangerfield. And that puts them in the lead. Soft touch around the rim. You don't want Harris to catch you out of position inside. And so it's New York with it. Inescu up top. Guarded now by Agumba Wale. To the wing, right side. Pass to Howard. Floor that one for her eighth field goal. Eight for 11, in fact, on an accurate night. That make is why Howard is such a high percentage shooter. She doesn't allow the D to affect her like others do. Now here's Harris. Five points in the game. Yep, count it. But when it comes to size, that's not a great one-on-one -on -one matchup for her. Well, you wouldn't know it with that finish. That took a little creativity right there. A little extra sauce on it. Here's Dangerfield. Trailing by two. To Howard. The tray. Yes, and it's Crystal Dangerfield picking up the assist. Well, that's the decisiveness you need to have on catch and shoot jumpers. Howard doesn't really second guess her shot attempts. Pass to McCowan. 
Bray outside. The screen by Collier. Six to shoot. Here's Harris. Tried to come right back with the three of her own, but it's no good. Now here's Allen. He's got 11. Dangerfield outside. Pass to Howard. Allen with it. From outside the arc. They get it again. Howard, that's good. Check out the heart and hustle from Howard on the glass. She's good at creating second chance opportunities. Here's Harris. Seven points in the game. Gray outside. Screen by Collier. It's stolen by Howard. Pass to Ionescu. Now here's Allen. Fires the three. Sinks the three-pointer. Yeah, you might not think of her as a true ace from three-point range, but the shot was there for her. And here's Harris. Sometimes a player just needs the right situation. I mean, just look at Natasha Howard. Since a 2018 trade from Minnesota to Seattle, Howard's career has taken off. The screen by Collier. Here's Gray. Converts on the jumper for an easy two. Perfect screen there. Set her up to a terrific look. Yeah, but that's a bad job by the defender to not fight through that screen to contest. You want to see more effort there. Timeout called the Liberty. Laney outside. On. Covered by Collier. Pass to Whitcomb. Puts up a three. Rebound Dallas. And Natasha Howard, the 2018 most improved player in the WNBA. In a starting role, Howard exploded with the storm. Given a chance to play more, Natasha Howard has blossomed into one of the best forwards in the WNBA. Six on the shot clock. Here's Dickey. He's covered by Willoughby. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. That's a heads-up play there on offense. The pump fake cleared the way for the nice layup. Now Willoughby. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Now here's Whitcomb, covered by Harris. Out of bounds. Liberty ball as New York keeps possession. And the Liberty with possession here. Two point game. Pass to Laney. Five on the clock. Shoots over Harris. Laney, good. Here's Amanda Wale. 18 points for her. Now here's Harris. Now Dickey. Collier. Here's Agumawale. That's good, and it's Charlie Collier with the assist. For any under six foot guard like Ogumawale, the teardrop is a must. Allows you to score over bigs in the paint. Now here's Willoughby. Laney outside. On the wing, Sammy Whitcomb, covered by Harris. Basket good. Mbawale with it. He's got 20. Pass to Harris. Back to Mbawale. Collier outside. Harris. Screen by Collier. Harris can't hit. 
New York leading. Here's Willoughby. He hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Pass to Hahn. Over Harrison. And it's New York with another. Love seeing this from Willoughby. Not just a scorer, but also an effective passer. And they could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Yeah, too many empty possessions. I mean, it's simple. They need points. Here's Dickey. The shot's good. Jasmine. The defense on her has to be airtight, guys. And that was far from it. Pass to Willoughby. On with the ball. Laney outside. Now Whitcomb fires for three. And a great assist by Laney as that one goes in. That is some dime dropping. Exquisite assist. Outside, Agumawale. Well, her coaches love that effort from Lady Day on the defensive end. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. It's the Liberty. They're up by seven. And don't go away. We'll be back momentarily. Candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. Well, this was some artistry right here. Great decision on where to go with the ball and a perfect delivery. And they'd love to see every possession end this way, Tim. It's true team basketball. It's just so much fun to watch. Order just moments away now as we welcome you back. Now here is Ionescu on a screen. Here's Onion Wade. No luck on that one. Alicia Gray with a defensive effort. Enrique Agumbawale on the wing. Pass to Burton. There's a screen by McCowan. Burton can't hit. Ionescu outside. Here's Han. And here's Onion Wade. Ionescu outside. Count that one as her seventh make in eight attempts. That's a scorching 86%. It's easier to find success in the pick and roll game when you have the kind of high basketball IQ Ionescu has. And here's McCowan. Good, and the assist goes to Agumbawale. What a display of offense we've seen today, and it's only getting better. And it's only getting better as both these defenses are showing signs of wearing down. Yeah, the defensive effort has not been good of late. Now here is Ionescu. Fourth quarter now, we're just about a minute and a half in. Here's Natasha Howard for three. And again, it's the Liberty from deep. A new wrinkle to her game. Howard didn't even make a three until her third year in the league. Now, she's a bona fide three-point threat. Here's Thornton. Gray outside. To the middle. It's stolen by Hahn. Here's Allen. She's guarded closely. Ionescu outside. Well, the Wings have been in Dallas since 2016, but before that, so they had two other stops as a franchise. Joining the league in 1998 in Detroit, and then a move to Tulsa in 2010. And the first one at the line is good. 
Going back to when the Wings were in Detroit, they had so much success. Winning three titles in Motown, just like the bad boy Pistons of the late 80s and early 90s, their hallmark was tough defense taking on the identity of their city. And that's good as she hits both shots. Over the last few seasons, the average salary of WNBA players has significantly risen. The average salary in 2022, it's more than the maximum salary in 2017, just five years earlier, which is a great, great sign for the league. That's key for many reasons. The less players that go overseas, the less injuries we will see. And that starts with salaries from the WNBA. Well, she's been the key to their offense. She's been their offense with the way she shot the ball. Yeah, her percentage today has been through the roof. She is definitely not the one who put them in this hole. Yep, that one goes. Check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates on the same page. Fourth quarter keeps moving along. Three minutes gone by now. Argun Bawale, covered by Inescu. Here's the floater. And a Kuba Wale laying it in. Well, the best scorers oftentimes have an inside and outside game, and Agumba Wale flashes signs of both. And these guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assists. When everybody's involved offensively, it's in a way helping you defensively, too. Now here's Dangerfield. Outside Howard. And Escu. And again, it's the Liberty from deep. Well, we're seeing an Escu light it up tonight. You can see why there is so much excitement about her when she entered the WNBA. Sabrina has the mindset to take over games. It's Burton. Outside of Gumawale. Pass to McCowan. Gray launches it. He can't get it to go. Yanescu outside. The floater and the layup is up and in. Given Yanescu's soft touch around the rim, defenses have to be extra careful about letting her inside. That was a second look at our mobile one drive. Amazing control on display. And even with the game well in control, they're still going right at the rim. You know, I love that mentality. Now Burton. Screen by McCowan. Side of Wale. Dangerfield with the steal. To the inside. Howard. And she was fouled in the act of shooting and opportunity for a three-point play. From 2017 to 2020, in a four-year stretch, Natasha Howard winning three championships, getting her first ring in 2017 with Minnesota, then two titles with Seattle in 2018 and 2020. No coincidence that Natasha Howard has won three titles in four years. Well, obviously, defense matters so much in this league, and Howard is a defensive player of the year. Her length has a big effect on opponents, and she's just such a tremendous competitor. Here's Thornton, and the layup is good. She might be undersized as 6-1 forward, but Thornton makes up for it with touch, finds ways to score down low. Yanescu left side. Dangerfield outside. Back to Yanescu. For three. The rebound by Thornton. Dallas with the ball. Pass to Burton. Out to Gray. Just five on the clock. There's a screen by McCowan. To the paint. Basket is good. The assist from Alicia Gray. It's so fun to see McCowan pour it in tonight. A true center. 
Don't see too many like her anymore. Now here is Ionescu. Guarded now by Agumba Wale. Here's Dangerfield outside. Unable to get that one to go. The wings go the other way with it. Now Burton. Pass to Gray. She's off on that one. Good work defensively by Natasha Howard. Now here's Allen. She's covered closely. Now here's Ionescu. Golson, McCowan defending. Back to Ionescu. Dangerfield. And again, it's the Liberty missing. It's Burton. On the wing, Alicia Gray. Picked by Thornton. The 11-footer, that's good on the jumper. Developing nicely since entering the league, Ray has added some different elements to her game that are paying off on the court. Now here's Dangerfield. Pass to Dolson. And the ball out of play, the Wings will have it. Wings ball. Into the Wings. Kayasha Harris. Wale with it. Now Thornton, guarded by Howard. Now here is Thornton. He right on her. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. She's got to be a, a little embarrassed for joining the Paratroopers Club on that pump fake. Come on, you got to be a little bit more disciplined. New York leading. Pass to Dolson. Allen. That one falls coming off Stephanie Dolson's feet. They've been able to depend on her offense all game, guys. She's just not wasting any chances, any shots she's had. And if they want to make things even easier on themselves here late in the ball game, I got an idea. Just keep getting her the basketball. Now here's Harris. And here's McCowan. Just four to shoot. There's Agumbo Wale with the three. Drills it from outside. Making a big difference from long range tonight. That was a big shot right there. They've got time, and if she can keep stretching the defense like she has been with the three-point shot, that lead could go away in a hurry. Pass to Allen. And again, it's New York with a three. Only took them a few seconds to answer the three ball at uh, one end with their own. A three-point battle starting to take shape here. Now here's Harris. Here's McCowan. There's a screen by McCowan. Let's it go from 11. That shot off. Outside Howard. Stolen by Kayla Thornton. Pass to Gumbawale. Count the basket. Well, she, for one, hasn't let them down, but a few of her teammates need to pick up the pace and pick it up fast. And so it's New York with it. Ionescu outside. And here is Howard. And stolen by Thornton. Out of bounds, it'll go to the Liberty. On offense, here the Liberty. Ten point lead. Pass to Dangerfield. Now here's Howard, covered by Thornton. And the basket by Howard. Well, remember, it was somebody who couldn't even crack the starting five. Now a key starter on title team. Howard is a player who looks to pour it in. Now here's a Google Wale. Fires for 14. And Dallas again with the bucket. 
That's a clean look they gave her there, fellas. And I mean, she, she trains those. So I wouldn't give her too many of those looks if I was the defense. Howard, that's good. Her stroke has been dead on. Inside, outside, wherever. The shots are falling for her. And here's Agumbawale. Good from 11 feet. And if they want, they can milk the clock a little bit here. Great point, Blake. That'd be the best option. I'd agree. You should coach. <laughs> now, here is Ionescu. Pass to Allen. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get it off in time. by McCowan. And again, it's the wings from deep. She might not be the top sharpshooter in this league, but that's not a shot that D can afford to give to her. Ionescu outside. And she was fouled on the way up. Two free throws for her. A problem for the defense from anywhere. Yanescu enjoys getting inside and forcing them to get aggressive with them. Push their lead to double digits. That's also good, so she hits them both. Now that's how you close a game out. Those free throws will bury them for sure. Would come defending. It's good, and she drew the contact on the shot, so she'll go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. So we'll see Enrique Agumbawale go to the line here. And it's going to be on Sammy Whitcomb. I will never forget Agumba Wale blowing up in college because of her clutch tournament baskets. Those were special. Now here's Whitcomb. We've got a nine second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Willoughby. The three gets it to go from downtown. I don't want to say that they're trying to run up the score, but uh, if you keep adding up to that lead. Well, if you won't say it, partner, I will. They're trying to run up the score here. Thanks for saying that, Brian. Here's Harris. The offensive rebound. And so New York takes this one by a big margin. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. It makes a big difference. Once they started to really play in a good flow, it felt like uh, they never had any doubts that they come out on top. So that's going to do it for this one, folks. 